Andrew Feather, lightweight, powerful, unbeatable, and the current national hill climb champion. But this time, has he met his match? Our beginner turned intermediate has his sights firmly set on beating his nemesis. Yes, Freddy is back. This time though, Freddy has come with more power and more determination than ever before. Oh, and he's shaved his legs. Could this be the day that Andrew Feather gets toppled at his own game? Yes, this is Borderline Intermediate versus National Hill Climb Champion. You are probably familiar with Andrew Feather by now, and he is unbeatable on the climbs. But this got me thinking, is there a way that beginner Freddy could beat pro hill climber Andrew on a climb? I've got just the trick up my sleeve. I've managed to get Freddy a brand new bike. I've got him an e-bike. And he's having fun on it. This is the bike that Freddie is going to be riding. This is the Canyon Grail on. And as we know, e-bikes are great for allowing people to ride further and faster than they ever thought they could. And I think this is the perfect bike to settle the score between Andrew and Freddie for good. So this bike comes in at a weight of 17.10 kilograms. And with Freddie's weight of 81, that is just just tiny bit heavier than Andrew's super lightweight bike and his, you know, super light race weight. But anyway, this bike has a motor. It has a Bosch motor with 85 newton meters of torque. And if you pedal nice and gently, the bike will go nice and gently as well. But if you put some serious power down, which I'm sure Freddie will, it'll give it back. This bike has four different modes. It has eco, tour, sport, and turbo. And yes, this is a Canyon Grail on at home on the gravel paths and on the grass. But today we're gonna take it on the road. I'm back here at the amazing, beautiful, sunny Banner Downhill. Admittedly, it's not my favorite place in the, in the world. I've had a lot of suffering up there, but I'm happy to do it for you guys. This time, I'm on the Eve. Me and the boffins at GCN thought, hmm, what is the best way to chase down Andrew Feather's time? Because let's be honest, he's a beast. And hill climb is all about watts per kilo. And I'm not exactly going to get as light as him because I'm quite a chunky boy. So we thought we'd get the Eve out and see what will happen if we race again. Yeah, it's great to be back at Banner Down for a rematch against Freddy. Um, obviously, it was pretty close last time, um, but today he's, uh, he's got a, a motor behind him, so uh, we'll, we'll see how I can do against that. I don't know. I, I really don't know how this is going to pan out. I'm, I'm very nervous, to be honest. I've never ridden an e-bike before. I think tactics-wise today um, is just really riding yourself into the climb, not starting too hard. Um, I think especially on hill climbs, it's always, um, always a good tactic to have a strong finish. I do know Andrew's best time, he averaged 26 kilometers an hour, and this bad boy is limited to 25. So I think it's gonna be really close. I think, to be honest, I may do a bit of trickery like I did last time and just sit on his wheel for a bit, uh, although don't tell him. Yeah, the bike is, um, the bike is weighing in at um, about 5.7 kilos uh, with these wheels. Come out in my new kit today. It's the first time I've worn my uh, national stripes, so it'll be, uh, it'll be good to, to test them out against Freddie today. There's a bit of controversy about the shorts, whether I should be in white shorts or black shorts, but uh, I think I've, I've, I've chosen a good choice and I've gone for back, black shorts, so uh, yeah. So this Canyon Grail on actually has four different modes, but the one I'm gonna use is turbo, baby. The scene is set. Carl de la Banner Down is ready for Freddie and Andrew. It's a beautiful day for a hill climb, but a little bit different to the last two races. They're going to be going off head to head at exactly the same time. It's going to make for an interesting race, but I want to see who's going to win. So I need to get to the top. So you're going to have to set yourselves off. Can I trust, can I trust you to do that? Yeah. Yeah, all yeah. right. Right, I better get to the top. Okay, Andrew, whatever happens, you'll always be my hero. But are you ready? I'm ready. Right, three, two, one, go! And they're off. All right, you ready? Woohoo! This is ridiculous fun. 
<laughs> I'm on 620 watts. Oh my God. This is like walking the park. <laughs> Freddie set in the pace early on. The question is, can he keep it up? Oh my God, this is ridiculous. I'm keeping up with a pro. You right, Andrew? <laughs> this is craziness. Oh, it's still quite tiring though. Oh, oh God, he's coming. It's so hard. <laughs> How are you coping? Getting in your strips. Trying to get in your slipstream. The flatter this section of the climb is fast approaching and with a solid attack of 870 watts, Andrew pulls into the lead. Ah! The e-bike's restrictor seems to be working in Andrew's favour. Does this mean it's all over for Freddie? Ah, maybe I should have been doing less talking. The halfway point is passed and with 1,000 metres to go, Andrew has a six second lead. I'm clicking on the, on the flat sections. He's gonna catch me up. I'm catching up! <laughs> I'm coming for you, fella! He's closing in. 530 watts. I'm coming for you! I'm gonna sit on your wheel now. With a last ditch of effort, Freddy grits his teeth and uses every bit of strength and all the assistance possible from his e-bike to reel Andrew in. And just like that, Freddy's back in contention. With 550 metres to go, it's neck and neck. And from out of nowhere, Freddy oh. finds an extra gear. Oh. It looks like Andrew's in trouble. Is that He's it? Andrew's giving everything, peaking at an insane 900 watts. With every pedal stroke, Freddie pulls out a bigger advantage. If he holds on, this is going to be the biggest win of his career. Final sprint. Final sprint. He's going to do it. He's done it with enough time to celebrate. Well, Freddie, massive congratulations on your first win, but how did it all play out? What happened? Uh, honestly, I'd say that the real winner is Andrew. Like, I felt what it's like to ride at his speed up the hill. It's mind boggling. Like, I don't know how you do it. And there's me being really cocky and stuff, but I was still working hard. I just, hats off to you, man. You're an absolute legend, honestly. No, no, I think, you know, I could, I could see that, you know, immediately, as soon as you went from the gun, you were, you were going to floor me, basically, but um, no, you did, you, did, you did really well, and uh, um, yes, it was a good battle. I think, you know, as soon as you put your foot down at the end on that corner, I knew that I couldn't catch you. I was doing about 630 watts, and I was thinking, this is not sustainable. Really? Um, yeah, yeah, so. What, what's interesting, though, is you, you had me on the flat section, because obviously this is limited, and you could just go, and there's me being cocky, getting absolutely smoked. On the, how fast are you going on the flat section actually? I was doing about 32 kilometers now on the flat oh. section. I knew that I knew that your bike was de-restricted to 25, so I thought my only advantage you really was yeah. going to be the yeah. flat section, which is normally the other way around. Normally I prefer the steeper sections, but I could see you pulling me back at the end when it, when it got a bit steeper really, so. Yeah, I think that's just the biggest difference. It's, it's just when it pitches up. Yeah. But it, what, you're just a machine man. Like, <laughs> I can't say enough, absolute legend. What a race that was. It's taken an e-bike that gave Freddy an extra 340% of his power output to beat the outstanding hill climber Andrew Feather. Andrew did the entire climb in 5 minutes 33 seconds, averaging a whopping 470 watts. To put that into perspective, that's around 7 watts per kilo. Yes, you can now see why he is the current national hill climb champion. Freddie, on the other hand, was able to pass Andrew in the closing stages, eking out a lead of 15 seconds, which was 8 minutes and 10 seconds quicker than the run he did aboard a traditional road bike. 
Freddie was not holding back, averaging a heart rate of 164 beats per minute and peaked at 175 in the closing stages. So there you have it, Freddie has toppled the feather aboard the Canyon Grail using turbo mode. Thank you guys so much for riding up that hill again. If you guys did enjoy this video, then please give it a big thumbs up and let us know in the comment section below if there's anything else you want Freddie to do. Any more challenges for Freddie, please leave them in the comment section below. But Freddie, I think you have skipped amateur and you've gone straight to pro. You've officially won a race, that makes you a pro. <laughs> I'm not taking this one, but thanks. I appreciate the compliment. <laughs> well, now that's done, what should we do next? I'll race you down. All right then, let's go.